My name is Susie Parnell, and this is my resurrection story. I was born and raised in McEwen, Tennessee. I'm the youngest of four children. I had a, a great childhood, kind of the perfect life. We were involved in church from, from a very young age. I think I went at like two weeks old and went every time the doors were open. I guess my perfect childhood kind of ended uh, when I was 17. I was in a car accident. It was with Greg Lee, and he had been my boyfriend for 11 months and he was killed, and I was with him, and I survived. Up until that point, everything in my life had been perfect. I had no reason to question, no reason to doubt, and I guess that I believe until that point, if I went to church when I was supposed to, and I lived like I was supposed to, and followed the rules, that, that things would work out the way they were supposed to. And all of a sudden, that was shattered, and I questioned every belief that I had ever had. I think that's something that stayed with me um, probably for about 25 years and I have to really fight that at times I have to, to fight going back into that pattern of, of testing my faith and wondering why bad things happen or why things happen that, that I don't understand in 2002 my brother was in a, a horrible situation and made a bad choice and he murdered his best friend. And as a family, um, to tell you what that did to our family is just, it's, it's unbelievable. And I, I don't want that to sound selfish because my heart hurts for the other family as well. Um, but it tore our family apart because things like that didn't happen in our family. Um, we were raised to believe, and, and my parents believed, if you train up a child in the way they should go, when they're old, they don't depart from it. And we challenged that. That that was challenged in our family. Once I was divorced, after being married for 16 years, I needed to find a new place to worship. And I was invited to a small group on Wednesday nights. And I remember going into that small group and being so welcomed. I came on Sunday morning. And I can tell you every detail of that day, and I knew within minutes of, of coming in the door that it was okay that I was not perfect and it was okay that I was divorced and broken, that this was, this could be my church home. And over the last two years, God has really worked in my life to heal those, the, to heal the brokenness and, and to heal the hurt. And there are still times that I question and there are still times that I struggle but I've learned that that's okay. And, it, and it's okay to be, to struggle as long as you know to turn to God for those answers and for the help. There was one point in my life where I gave up and I didn't want to live anymore. And when you come from that place and you realize that God kept you here for a reason, not once but twice, I had to forgive myself but then I had to realize that God had forgiven me also, and that God had never turned away from me, that he was always there. And I think my viewpoint, or my perspective of who God was as when I was younger, was that he was, he was keeping a, a bad list. And I had to change my way of thinking that that's not who God is. He was just waiting for me to come back to him. He had never gone anywhere. That made my relationship with him more personal. I'm thankful for having parents who have always believed in me and saw the importance of a Christian upbringing. And I look around, there's so many people who didn't have that opportunity. And I vowed when I had my children that, that I would give them that, that, that opportunity to grow up in Christ. And I, I'm, I'm happy to be able to do that. I'm blessed with, with my two girls, Haley and Addie, my 10 year old twin girls. And I want my girls to know that God loves them, no matter what. I'm Susie. I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me.